My heart bleeds. You know, the kind of cries bitterly after his lawyer revealed this information to him in detention. What has happened? What has happened? And what is happening? Has anyone offended Namdekanu, or has any uh, has anyone uh, given him any sudden information? What has happened? Well, my dear listeners, you know, as it used to be, Namdekanu cannot just hold back. Is, is, is tears haven't um, gone through all these challenges difficulties and pains just because he is fighting for freedom of uh, of the egos just because he is fighting to free the people that he calls his own instead of them to see reason in what he is doing and give him the support they are they, they, they end up you know backstabbing him it's worth crying it's worth crying all right uh, my listeners Without wasting much time, let's see what the lawyer has actually revealed to him that has made him felt or feel so bad inside of him. <laughs> if I Ejiofo, the lead counsel for the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdekanu, has expressed his sadness while visiting Namdekanu, in detention he said that revealing the information of what happened in Olo to Namdekanu in detention caused a deep sadness and pains to Namdekanu reacting to this he said that Namdekanu wept in pains cried saying that this is why he will continue to fight until the Igbos are set free. My people are in bondage. Nigerian has refused to release my people from this bondage. Nigeria is asking for one Nigeria, but are still suffering my people. For how long do we continue to experience this? The government are believed to be members of the Nigerian government who has put it upon themselves to fight against the indigenous people of Biafra. Namdekano said the IPOP is not a Boko group but a group set out to fight against indiscipline of the Igbos. He said that nothing will stop this group from going on with this fight until Nigeria see reason to free them from this slavery they found themselves. Hmm. My listeners, don't mind me. It's what sign. You see, a prophet said something. He said, Namdekanu is the eyes of the Igbos. He didn't, he, he wasn't holding water in his mouth when he said what he said. He wasn't holding water in his mouth. He said it as the prophecy as the prophecy leads him. He said it according to the prophecy. He said, Namdekanu is the one that will lead 
the people of Biafran to the promised land. Just like Moses led the people of Israel to the promised land. Um, it's so disappointing that having known that the Igbos are facing all these our so-called leaders have refused to intervene and, and stop worrying in this immoral act. In this immoral act. It's wrong. It's wrong. For how long will the people of Imo continue facing this unbelievable that is happening? Don't forget Emo is made up of parents and their children. Where will these people run to? For who will they run to? For who will they run to? Hmm. Okay. My people, let's hear from you. Let us hear from you. And let us know What's your take on this, maybe? Don't forget your comments are very, 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 very important. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.